don't know. But anyways, let's be useful. Okay, question number three. Straight guy, 29 years old. As soul-crushing as dating apps are, they feel easier than getting to know people in person and asking for dates there. But I have a real problem with messaging back and forth with potential dates for a little bit, then ceasing to reply. Sometimes it's like I make premature judgments that someone isn't right for me. Others, it's like I get anxious about not being a good enough catch. Given that I don't match with many women or get many responses from them in the first place, this seems self-sabotaging. I feel lonely and isolated all the time, basically. So why am I not more enthused to meet new people? What do you think I can do to regain some enthusiasm and confidence for talking to people? Thanks. Thank you so much for such, such a... Again, I, we're, yeah. the quality of questions on this show is just top yeah. notch. And You're imbuing again. us with so much faith and we really, really appreciate that. Yeah, but again, just just making us also not feel alone. And I think mm-hmm. everyone else, like I don't think you guys, any of you understand just how much of a political project that is you asking us questions mm-hmm. like this because you would be surprised just how many people would be relating to this yeah. as well. Um, yeah, you are doing like the, the hard, scary yeah. work more than us in a way because you're putting yourself out there and being vulnerable whereas we're just trying to help. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. So thank you. Yes, yes. All right, let's do this. All right. So I have, again, a couple of... Oh my of, God. Well, I don't know. It's just... Um, I thought I was the nerd in this no, relationship. That's why I actually opened the because I have a few things to to um to unpack here. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Should I should? I, do, uh, okay, I guess I'll start just because then you can. Yeah, you have that. notes. I don't have notes. Right. Okay, so I, I will. We will eventually give all the I think uh, sort of advice about you know how to um, you know how to. Um, feel a bit more confident in sort of giving um sort of um responding responding and 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 inviting people into dates and all that stuff but fundamentally what i get from your question is that it seems to me like there is uh an underlying i suppose i don't want to use the word trauma or issue but like a a trust issue i suppose maybe perhaps you've gone through an experience where um, we didn't feel good enough or things didn't go well and 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 you know you say you don't you don't feel like uh, asking people question asking people for dates in real life etc and you feel isolated all the time I wonder what are the ways to to confront that first and foremost um, to me that's usually either a tattoo <laughs> or Again, writing things down and really, really dissecting again in my diary as to as to as to what's going on. But um, I don't know if that's something that you are ready to revisit, or is that something that um, yeah that 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 could be done uh, um, in general. So yeah, if there is a bad experience, uh, perhaps it would be good to confront it and release it, you know, as 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 a as a ghost, <laughs> um, and, and then. Asking for asking for dates as well, I was thinking perhaps, you know, even asking for dates. What, what does it even mean? Perhaps you could, um, perhaps you could invite people to a social situation where there would be other other friends. So then it wouldn't feel as um, as intense that way around. So perhaps you know a captain game or something like that. But but where, where there would be other people, so that wouldn't feel as as you know it's just one on one. So then you get to. Um, so know this person in a crowd of other people. Uh, I was thinking also the way to not waste your time. So for instance, that you know straight away whether that's your person or not, because you know you say you get a few matches, but um, you know then you sometimes don't know if they're a good ma- enough match for you or not. What if you just have like five questions and then you just post them straight away as like your hello. I don't know whatever they would be, but perhaps they were like a bit more politically inclined or just something that would fascinate you, something quite um, spontaneous. And you would straight away know whether the, you're, you're clicking with this person, whether it's humor, whether it's you know, something really sort of, yeah, whether it's a, click, a clicking thing there. So rather than be like, oh, hey, how are you? How was your day, you know, in, in the dating app? You know, there'll be something a bit more intriguing and something just like, or, the, or the, the song that you've been listening to or something. You know, there's some, like five, a list of questions that would be like straight away you can capture them or something. So my, my, I'm going to give you my Tinder secret now that um, got me my last girlfriend. <laughs> yes, it did. Um, I, if I think I might actually like someone, my question, which is not that fun or sexy, but always, always gets actually a conversation starting, is saying, how's your day going on a scale of one to ten? Because it's not, mm. hey, how are you? 
but they have to actually think about it and then you're like oh why why is it an eight that's so interesting why is it a two is it really bad and like i get some funny responses sometimes and like it's just a better way of saying hey how are you and you can use that if you like because it did get me my last relationship my last my second to last relationship (laughs) whoops um (laughs) but yeah um my other thing i would say is i hate messaging back and forth for ages like every now and again someone comes along and we click and it's like but um as i talked about last show i got so sick of that last time i was doing online dating quite a lot that i just asked people to meet up and I know it like seems like scarier or whatever, but you know within half an hour of talking to someone where there's anything there at all most of the time. And it actually saves a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of boring shit like, what do you study? Where do you oh, work? Gross. Oh, that's so interesting. It's like how many times I've told people what I fucking study and I'm like, you don't care, I don't care, none of us care about this. Like the only things I care about are like your political opinions and whether or not you're a dog. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sort of goes goes back. So so I would just oh, recommend, uh, like, if you think you might like them, just say, hey, do you want to get a beer? I, I, had, I had a situation with the friend that was telling me that they have a... Uh, I'm looking for, for a dom in their Tinder bio, and they wouldn't respond to anyone except they went, like, this is what I'm doing to you. Like, none of this, hey, how are you sort of thing. Like, this is what's happening. So, again, like, well, I mean, again, depends, I suppose, on the sort of of, uh, website that you're using, because this is Tinder, I guess. But, like, perhaps there is more of a conversational style. Well, like, like, OkCupid, for example, like, you can fill in, like, 100 questions and find out an exact, like, percentage based on your political views. That can be more or less useful. Yeah. But Tinder is not just sex anymore. Which is so annoying, actually. Yeah, I know, I know. I wish I was one that was just sex. People that want a relationship get out of Tinder, honestly. What the fuck? Sorry, I thought I was, I I stood on it, I thought I was breaking um, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So, but like, yeah, if you can be asked, then I would just recommend asking them for a drink. And if that seems forward, then just be like, all right, sorry, we can talk more banally for ages if you like. I can send you a funny gif, but I'm sorry, I'm just being bitter. No, but, and then when you are going on a date, like, make sure you feel like your million dollar self, you know? Like, I mean, I mean, this is really bad because we are, I suppose, sort of following somewhat uh, stereotypical... Uh, notions of what is attractive. Or we something. all judge a book by its cover, like sure, sure. No, maybe we know, shouldn't, but we do. No, no, no. But what I was gonna say, oh, you know, like I guess fit out clothes, stuff like this. You know, something that is of interest to me. And you know, it's not necessarily for you or others. You yeah. know, but but you know, perhaps your person is like all cosplay or something, which is also another sort of that maybe you should be turning up on something else. I don't know, but um, yeah, like, but yeah make sure that you is. feel extremely com- confident on on the day. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I also just wonder what is it about, what is it about the sort of in real life qu- qu- asking about dates that you are so uncomfortable about. But do you not find like I don't ask people out in real life? Like well, maybe I'll be at a party out. and like end up making out with someone, but it's not like it is in fucking Friends where he sees a cute girl, he goes up to her, and he's like. Hey, do you want to go? No, it doesn't happen anymore. Well, Either really you meet someone through I'll friends. I'll take you there, man. Nah, you, like, but in reality, I don't think it's for that, and I'll take you there. In reality, you know. meet people through friends, and you get casual with each other, and then you might ask each other you out. See, What's I the last time I've been hit on by a stranger? Like re- genuinely, not just like I want to fuck you because I'm drunk at four a.m. I mean, I I don't want to talk. About <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was <laughs> bad <laughs> politics by me putting no, you on a no, spot like that. I should, I should. But like, it just to me, it doesn't happen anymore. Like. Or maybe I'm just not receptive because I have, like, it resting bitch face. It has happened and it's been great. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, again, but that's because I like assertiveness. Like, I like I like people just being like, this is what's happening. I oh, see. I am into that. But then, again, I understand. We're putting now, like, especially dudes, I guess, in a position where, like, they, you know, what if they do that and they'll fucking get slapped? Like, that's really bad. That's the because, like, whenever, like, a guy will come up to me in a bar and, like, seem like he's hitting on me, I'm like, there's a 99... A per- I'm like, there's a 99% well, actually, chance depends. that there's a 99% chance that we will have nothing in common. And therefore, like, I shut the conversation down straight away, which is really bad. Whereas, like, if I can get, like, for example, my Tinder profile, it says, never shagged a Tory. So, like, people know straight away that that's one of my, that's one of my things. Like, 
you know, and so like there is a bit of like I'm not like going to be put all my political affiliations there, but there's a bit of an idea that someone will at least know where I'm at. Would you never hate Shag a Tory? I would never Shag a Tory, no. Like no, hate Shag? No, not ever. Not even. Like the son of Jeremy Irons? No, nah, because I think about how he would go and tell his friends about it, and that makes me feel way more gross than how I would tell my friends about it. Like, <laughs> I, I do not give there. them the right I've to my there. body. I've gone there once. <laughs> I've yeah, and that's fine. And if you want to shag a Tory, I will, I will judge you, but I'll pretend not to. <laughs> that's the relationship that we have. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... Right, okay, but again, I can feel... Um, are we, are uh, we getting distracted again? No, 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 I feel like there were... Um, the self-sabotage element. Yes. That's quite interesting. And, yeah, that kind of goes into what you were saying at the beginning about... Is there something that's happened to you that led to this? Or is it just a lack of confidence in that you're worried you won't have anything in common and therefore you cut it off, which is what I do a lot, is I'll cut something off because I'm like, we're more likely than not to not have anything in common. Like, or is it that you've got something that happened in your past that, you, that you're still not over, which is okay. If someone treats you like shit, then of course that hangs around. Yeah, or you're always comparing the other person to them. Oh, because I do that a lot. Like, I compare pretty much everyone to my boyfriend I was with for three years, but only to the the him that was with me after a year of getting to know each other, of building, building something together of, like, not him at the beginning, which was frankly mediocre <laughs> like but he learned and I learned and I compare everything to like him at our high point which isn't fair because every relationship is a learning curve and nothing starts off like the cozy cozy we know each other inside out end game yeah but basically even your ending bit you know so what do you think I can do to regain some enthusiasm and confidence for talking to people you know confidence bit we can talk to you about you know I think we can you, you know, sort of instill a few tips, especially if we got to know a little bit more as to what your aesthetic is and what you're into. I think we could give quite a few practical tips. And also your mannerisms and your personality. Like, yeah. do you engage with people through humour? Do you engage with people through political discussion? Do you, en- like, but how do you... But enthusiasm bit. That's yeah. enthusiasm bit. I don't know if we can help until you're ready, you know? Like, I basically, you know, you just hear about people that are perhaps, perhaps like either not over certain relationships or they just want or they just want a particular thing like and they don't want to just hook up with people and that sort of stuff and and they don't want to have enthusiasm about you know, all that are just that. jaded and assume that it's not going to work out which is what my attitude was which is just like there there's no point because it probably won't go anywhere which is also just something like you are gonna have to probably talk to a load of people you don't find it interesting maybe go on dates with a bunch of people you don't find it interesting before you find someone you click with that is just possibly the reality again you are you have somehow found us meaning you are a lefty i would say lefties are horny as fuck so we just come to some lefty event honestly <laughs> but this is again this is practical now yeah no that like, is practical and you have and honestly go maybe, to lefty parties um, gigs like yeah again yeah just sort of I don't know if you're London experience. based but if you're London based there's so much going on also other cities there's so much going on yeah, check yeah, out the social sure. centres that are yes. around yeah so it seems like you have good politics anyways because you seem to be super self aware etc mm-hmm. um, but yeah I don't know Again, I know, yeah, if you, if you are IRL with someone, and again, perhaps that, that, that's that lefty somewhere in, in the scene, I, I don't know, I think increasingly, because we are so isolated and lonely, all of us, a lot of the time, maybe that's just me and my little bubble, that we're sort of in a bit of a, like, life is too short sort of thing, and if we, if we admire each other, there are ways of complimenting each other that I think really open up floodgates of, of, of love, you know, I think... We're so, I guess, yeah, oppressed or just like lacking in confidence that, you know, a lot of the time you just receive one little compliment from someone, you're like, okay, oh, can I be with you for the rest of my life? <laughs> so don't be afraid to compliment people, you know, maybe. Yeah, perhaps, everyone loves a compliment. Yeah, and rather than saying, like, for instance, that's something I've, I've been told that it was quite nice, um, not, not a critique at me, but that was just in another conversation, rather than saying, like, oh, those jeans look nice. Go like, oh, these jeans look nice on you. Well, jeans is maybe a bad example. Mm. Jeans is a bad example. Don't use jeans. Jacket. Jacket or earrings. Boots. Or earrings. Something non-sexual. Yeah, some reason, I'm sorry. But basically, yeah, something that like, oh, it looks good on you, you know? So it's a bit more personal then. Yeah, or like, I love your hairstyle. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but with something a bit 
a bit more rather than it's like that's nice that that's actually it's nice because it's on you yeah know, so something along those and lines. that you chose it so it's also implying good taste like yeah and i mean what i find the biggest turn on which is i think different to you but is like people listening and people including me in conversations and stuff like that so like if you see i don't know if is, is it girls you're into it does it say people potential date potential date okay say so it stays neutral but um, okay if like the person you're into seems like lost then like include them and like don't talk down to people like ask like yeah ask people about themselves like the biggest turn on is feeling like you're being listened to <laughs> like and feeling like what you're saying is valid like and that's exciting because then they're talking and you you find out straight away whether or not you're interested in what they have to say yeah they think apps are great and we have no huge successes from that relationships we yeah like, i dated someone for the whole five months till she dumped me for someone else no but like i've known some that have lasted years yeah of course of course yeah stuff. but like um it, it does seem like you are not necessarily super happy even in in that so if there's something that you can rediscover in irl and myself as a as a gamer like i don't fetishize irl at mm. all um but there seems to be something that you're saying like i'm just bored of doing that i wonder yeah. if it's a if it's a boredom thing or if it's something that you're just like you're f- afraid to put yourself out there and believe me i, I get it we you know we as well, I myself as women i also have a certain privilege like i'm short you know and like have a good eyebrow like i mean basically i don't look intimidating like probably well i, actually I mean your eyebrow is pretty intimidating <laughs> <laughs> but, like, basically, i guess it's way way easier for me to flirt you know it doesn't look as creepy maybe <laughs> but um but yeah obviously but like flashing as a dude is 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 scary for yeah. like different reasons yeah. because there's all the like yeah the stuff but but yeah go like and also like the biggest thing i'm gonna say to you that's a bit of a like bummer is like be prepared to wait if you're really looking for a genuine connection i mean if you're looking for a shag easy as pie <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you're looking for a genuine connection, like you might have to wait like a while, and that's okay too. Like, yeah, or like hang out in spaces wait, with things like with, with things going on that you're interested in. You don't have to be the loudest person in the room. You don't have to be the funniest person in the room. But if you're listening and you're caring and you're smiling and you make people cups of tea and get people beers and that always helps. Compliment yeah. people. Like you're going to be seen as like the nice, cool guy and. Yeah, what 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 else can one ask for? Again, like I've, yeah. I just heard of a, of a, of a friend um, going, you know, having a good couple first dates and then on the third date finds out they're a huge tanky. <laughs> so that sucked. Um, so, and again, and that was like a waste of time and a waste of messaging. But and it's going to happen. So dispiriting. It does happen though. Like yeah. I've been on so many first dates and quite a few second dates. So again, yeah, I guess we're with you. We're yeah. with you. I hope we helped in some way. Please yeah. give us I'm some sorry, feedback. Internet, we, uh, dating is not yeah. necessarily my, my forte as such. So that's why not I mine anymore after my well. thing. But also, um, check out the first question we asked last week if you haven't already, because we talked a lot there as well about like how to make um, how to make like talking to someone online interesting and fun. And so yeah, there might be something there that's useful if you haven't seen it already. 